Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome uh, to East Cleveland. Welcome to the East Cleveland Public Library. Welcome to the Greg L. Reese Performing Arts Center. I'm Greg Reese. Now, we've been working on this show for a while because we've got two hometown boys right in this band. On the drums, we've got Jerome Jennings. <laughs> Jerome, Jerome just returned from a month tour with Sonny Rollins. So, I mean, these are international acts. And of course, our own Sean Jones, who, uh, who grew up in Warren, Ohio, and he actually taught in East Cleveland. That's when I met him several years ago. Now, he's got to be one of the top trumpet, jazz trumpet players in the country. He's the first chair at Lincoln Center with Wynton Marcellus. So you're in for an unbelievable treat. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's welcome the Sean Jones Quintet. How y'all doing? All right? Y'all ready to have some fun? We're gonna start off swinging a little bit. I know y'all like the blues, right? Is it all right to play the blues? All right, we're gonna play a little bit for you. This is entitled Sandu, written by the great Clifford Brown. Sandu. Oh, he wants some more piano. <laughs>
Thank you very much. How about y'all all right? You having a good time? All right. That's what I'm talking about. It's so good to be back here in one of the greatest places in the world, East Cleveland. That's right. Y'all great for a lot of reasons, and I experienced 30 minutes ago why y'all was so great for one reason. Angela Mia's Pizza. <laughs> Boy, we go to Chicago, New York. Yeah, they good. But it's something about the soul. Let me stop. I want to introduce these fine musicians from Euclid. That's right. That's right. 
amazing pianist, good friend from right here, y'all home, Mr. M Mike Murray on the piano. Amazing composer and multi-read expert. That's right. From, huh? Not flute. Well, no, nah, he plays the flute too. Just not today. He's originally from, what, North Carolina, right? North Carolina. Now living in Pittsburgh. Amazing, just amazing guy. Beautiful instrumentalist and great man. Mr. Jacob Yaffe. Next individual is one of the legends of the base, living legends of the base. He was in Winton's, Winton Marcellus' first band. Um, since then, he has played with an enormous amount of people, Jerry Allen, Fred Wesley. He played with the great Stanley Turrentine. I mean, the list just goes on and on and on. He's amazing, I mean, as you just heard. Mr. Dwayne Dolphin on the bass from Pittsburgh, PA. And um, I don't know what to say about this cat. You know, we're, we're in this generation that they call Generation X, and they say that, you know, we don't amount to anything, we don't have any values, we don't try to do anything, we're all on drugs, we're out doing crazy stuff. Some of us are doing something. Yeah. And this is one of my best friends, probably my best friend. I call him in the middle of the night sometimes, looking for advice. And he start, you know, he gives me the greatest advice yeah, we call each other. I mean, it's been going on for a long time. And um, that's a personal note, but worldwide he is becoming fastly, rapidly one of the greatest young drummers alive. And I'm not saying that because he's my friend and because he's from here. I'm saying that because his, his resume proves it. He's played and performing with Sonny Rollins, who is the number one leading tennis saxophonist alive and has been for a long time, if you don't know him, with the great Hank Jones, Gerald Wilson. I just saw him on a gig the other day with Ernestine Anderson in, in Dizzy's in uh, Lincoln Center. I mean, what can I say about him? And on top of all of that, he receives one of the first master's recipients from Juilliard School of Music in the master's degree program. And guess what, y'all? He is from right here. Mr. Jerome Jennings. Give it up for him, y'all. Come on, y'all. Jerome Jennings. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Oh, well, you know, you got to give it up to mama. <laughs> right. And the brother and the auntie, all of y'all. But later on, on the second half, we're going to feature his music. We're going to feature pieces that he's written, the drum, all kind of stuff that he's done on the second half. You know, so stick around. He's going to have words. Uh, right now, we're going to play a piece of music that is, is going to be on my upcoming CD. Actually, I did another one, yes. And uh, <laughs> hold on to your seatbelts, because it's not like what we just played. So this is called transitions, and we call it transitions because it makes a lot of transitions. Say a prayer for us. Transition. <laughs> Thank you. 
very much transitions <laughs> that is not easy I'm gonna play another tune before we bring up our guest vocalist <clears throat> this is also going to be on my upcoming CD and it's different from that tune we just play we like different stuff hope y'all like that yeah you like that too yeah. all right You know, can't have a chicken sandwich every day. Some days you need a turkey burger. <laughs> or not. Uh, this tune is entitled Life Cycles. Hope you enjoy this one, Life Cycles. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Life cycles. You enjoying yourselves? All right. We tried to take you to some sand on that last tune. You know, take you to the beach. <laughs> now we're going to bring up a wonderful vocalist from Pittsburgh, PA, Miss Carolyn Petit. <laughs> Carolyn Petit. Thank you. <laughs> this is one of my favorite standards to sing. This is I Thought About You. Should have been, but we. 
about you Two or three cars parked under the stars A winding street Moon shining down on some little town And with each beam same When I pull down a shade, then I really felt blue. I, I peeked through the crack and looked at the track. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, this next song is an original song of Sean's, and I wrote the lyrics for this. And a lot of people already have asked me about the title, because the song is called Letter of Resignation. And a lot of people think that I quit a job. Or I got fired, you know. But none of that is true. I'm, it's actually a love story, and it's actually my love story. And when I wrote this song about six months ago, I was going through a lot of stuff, you know, which you have to go through to, to grow and to get better at doing things. So, um, Letter of Resignation is about resigning from love. Just for the record, this song is not about any, anybody up on this stage.
Thank you. Carolyn Petit. Carolyn Petit, ladies and gentlemen. This one is going to feature our percussion master, Jerome. Duke Ellington's Caravan. Thank <laughs> you. 
Jerome Jennings. Jerome Jennings. Jerome Jennings. East Cleveland's own Jerome Jennings. Dwayne Dolphin on the bass. Jacob Yavi, tennis saxophone. Also Cleveland's own Mike Murray. Mike Murray on the piano. My name is Sean Jones. We're going to be back in a minute, y'all. <laughs> We're going to be back just a very few minutes. We're going to feature some of Jerome's music now, y'all. So don't go away. We'll be back in a very few minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it again for Sean Jones. Sean Jones, come back. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together once more for the fabulous Jerome Jennings. Jerome Jennings. Boy. Boy, Sean is a tall dude. Um, he's like, man, you gotta talk. I'm so glad to play here because, I mean, it's, it's a different thing playing at home. It's a different thing. Uh, you, you, you get nervous because it's a, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a thing when you look out in the audience and you notice like half the faces. That's, that scares me, you know? <laughs> but, uh, I got a piece that I, I performed for, uh, uh, I guess I debuted it at my senior recital in New York at uh, Juilliard, and it was, it's entitled Heart, and I hope y'all enjoy it. Uh, yeah. <laughs>
Thank you. Uh, I basically, uh, I, I dedicate that to my, uh, my, my grandparents who uh, I try to ar articulate maybe what, what, what life is, I guess, to heart. I don't know if you heard it was consistently going on through the people. But, uh, I don't think music should be seen as a mystery. So, you know, at the very end, I'm almost positive at the very end of both my grandparents' life, they tried to, like, grab. They didn't want to go. So they tried to fight. But then you still have to go, because that's how it is. That's just how we are as imperfect humans. We gotta, we gotta die. That's one of the, that's one of the regulations. So we try to, or stipulations. Uh, and I, I just, I just, I want to dedicate it to my my great aunt who's here. Yeah. It's so hard to get her to come out. I had to, I called, I said, you got to come, you got to come, you got to come. And I thank you all for coming, but thank you. I forgot we're doing one of my tunes, one of my jams. Uh, I wrote this piece. Uh, I'm going to dedicate it to the Bell family and uh, the man in blue. I call it the beast. Uh, man, I don't want to get into the whole thing. But, man, I was coming, I, I'm always getting put over by the police all the time. Like, <laughs> I, everybody in here can relate. That's weird. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. When you play other places, that you know, you don't do no explanations because you know, man, they might not get where you're coming from. But uh, man, one time I was I was in Princeton. Man, I had a fun time at a gig playing. Man, everything was sweet. And you know, it's like two in the morning. I'm like, I'm gonna take the scenic route home because I'm feeling good. It's like it is outside now. I'm feeling good. Call my mom up. Like, yeah, everything, everything's sweet. You know, she's like, yeah, hello, hello. I'm like. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, yeah, everything cool, everything cool, you know. I say, you sleep? She's like, nah, nah, I'm up. All right. So I get pulled over by the, by, by the, by the man. He pulled me over, you know. It's cool. I was, guess I was in the wrong place. He kept pulling me over, but I decided to leave my phone on, on speaker. And this guy out. He got out. Like, three cops came around and was bugging, like, disrespecting me. And I'm like, man, I can't do nothing about it. You can't do nothing about that. But, you know, that's, it's very, very, it, it's, it, it, it really sucks to, to be, I mean, to be punked when you can't do nothing. Because it, I don't want to go, no, I don't want to die. <laughs> you know, and so she, so I'm like, man, it's on speaker. So, you know, I kind of got, you know, so it gets out, whatever. They let me leave and it like ruins my night, right? And she's like, she's like, do they, do they talk to you like that all the time? I'm like, yeah, I mean, yeah, kind of, but that was like another thing. So I'm hearing this melody in my head, and I'm trying to talk to the police, and every time I talk to him, he cut me off. I'm like, man, hey, uh, you know, I'm coming from a, okay, what are these bags in the back? You know, drums. I'm like, what, this bag full of ganja or something? No, it's not. It's just drums. He's like, uh, he's cutting me off. He's not letting me speak. It's like a little kid. And I'm like, okay. So in this melody, the melody is consistent. Which is, which is, which is, you know, which is cool, but, but Dwayne and myself and the piano player here, we, we, we're going to disrupt the melody. That's him disrupting me while I'm trying to talk. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's where I got it from. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to break this down because music is not as complicated as people make it out to be. As I learned, it's not, it's not that deep. So... What happens on the bridge is it, it cools out, you know, nice little major chorus, happy. Because you feel, you know, anybody get pulled over, when the cops go back to the car, you feel a, a slight relief. Like, oh man, all right, 
cool, cool. But they always got to come back. <laughs> and this joker came back, and that's when, that's when that interruption is going to start up again. Okay? So I hope you all enjoy this. This is the beast.
Jerome Jennings. Give it up for Jerome Jennings, y'all. Come on, Jerome Jennings. I never get to talk because I'm like a side man. I, I do a lot of gigs, like a lot of gigs a year. And I'm a side man, we rarely get to speak. But I get a call once. Me and Sean talk a lot, man. We go through a lot of a lot of stuff. Like I mean this dude, you have to understand, I have to understand something. He's he's feared in New York. No, nah, no, nah, he don't want to believe it. But see, a lot of people see. I like to keep what I do, what I do pr private, as far as my, you know, my relationship with my friends and whatnot. And people talk about him, that they think they're cool with me, but they don't know that I'm. This is my brother right here. They don't know. And every time they diss him or got something to say, whether it's good or bad, I jump on the horn. <laughs> hey, Sean, watch out for this dude. Watch out for that cat. You know, watch out for this. You know, Sean came to the city. Hold on. Uh, Sean came to the city, man. And I was living in Columbus. He said, man, you got to come to New York, man. Because I'm complaining, you know, man, in Columbus. You know, I, I thank God to be able to play with Ferraz with it and, and some other people in, the, in, the, in that city. And, and, and Sean said, man, you got to come out here, you know. So I finally came out. And he, he always believes in me for some reason, like all the time. <laughs> no, nah, but this is, no, this is, this is during a lot of, I'm, I'm still in the preliminary stage in my, in my opinion, but he, he, you know, he always, man, he always gave me a chance. Everybody in New York gets a chance. Everybody who plays music gets a chance. They all get a chance. But it's, it's, it's can you step up? You know, at least, at least hit a 300. But. No, Sean always believed in me, and, you know, I get a call from, from the Juilliard School, which I have to give props right now. I don't know if any of my, my you know, I, I, I have to give props to these are legends in, 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 in who, who reared me as a young musician and really cared about me. And I saw him walk in. He didn't know I saw him, but I saw him walk in. Ralph Jackson is in the, is in the building. Where are you? Right there. Right there. Ralph Jackson. Nah, man. Ralph Jackson. My parents paid for me to go to lessons with Ralph Jackson. And he, he schooled me. And, and you know, he, I'm still working on the left hand, man. <laughs> He's, I'm still working on it, you know, and, 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 and he's always looked out for me. But, but Sean calls me out of the blue and says, look, man, you, you got to, you got to, I'm doing a concert. Sean didn't have to call. He didn't have to call me. You know, he didn't have to call any of the guys you see. He could have called anybody he wanted to. Any drummer that you're a fan of, any, anybody in the world would die to play with this guy because he's feared all over the world. They know him. If I tell him, if I tell you I'm from Cleveland, anywhere in the world, I guarantee you, they'll say, man, there's a trumpet player out of there. I think his name is Sean Jones. <laughs> and, and, and all accents, that's all right. Any accent you can think of, they, they know who this dude is. So he didn't have to do this, and I really appreciate him as my brother. <laughs> Ain't nothing to it. This is my man right here, and I, I appreciate that. Um, I got to say I appreciate it, man. Appreciate you. Bro. All right, so we're going to get on with the show. All right. We're going to bring our vocalist out again one more time, Miss Carolyn Pratitz.
Thank you. It's Carolyn Pertine, one more time, y'all. I want to thank you so much for coming out. We got one more tune for you. And this is a request. This is a tune that's not about sad love. This is about that all-encompassing love. The love that wakes us up in the morning. The love that helps us go to bed at night. The love that allows us to love somebody that just shot our folks. Mm -hmm. This tune is entitled BJ's Tune. Life in the Hand Divine.
Thank you very much. Mike Murray on the piano. Dwayne Dolphin on the bass. Jacob Yaffe, tenor saxophone. Miss Carolyn Petit. Carolyn Petit. Y'all got to give it up for Jerome Jennings. Jerome Jennings. Jerome Jennings. Son Jones. Give it to him. Fifth record. Fifth record. He just recorded his fifth record. Yes. Thank you all so much. We'll see you next time. Why don't you say the last words, man? May the Lord watch now. I, 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 I was remiss. I got to give a big props to Bill Ransom because he's been my mentor for over 10 years. I mean, I, I don't know where I'd be without him. Probably like doing something extra wrong. You know, but thanks you all so much for coming, man. This means so much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it again for the Sean Jones Quintet. <laughs>